Salaries are expected to rise by an average of 4.6 percent in the UAE in 2017, according to a survey. According to Willis Towers Watson's latest salary budget planning study, as inflation has risen by an average of 4 percent in the Emirates in the past two years, salaries have risen for employees across all industry sectors, with pay up by 4.9 percent this year. The report was compiled from 6,500 responses received from com companies across 100 countries in February and March 2016. It provides salary increase budget information for a selection of economies across the globe, as well as projected inflationary and country GDP movements over the same period. In 2017, Lebanon is expected to see the region's highest increase with 5.4%, followed by Saudi Arabia and Kuwait at 5% and Qatar at 4.8%. On a global level, the report shows employees in Asian countries are predicted to benefit from some of the highest pay rises, with a regional average real pay increase of 3.8%, followed by Europe, Middle East and Africa at 1.9% and Latin America at 1.8%. North America has some of the lowest projected increases at an average of 1.6 per cent. Foreign investors will be allowed to own 100 per cent of retail businesses in Saudi Arabia for the first time under a decree issued by ministers on Monday. The planned reforms were announced last September to increase the maximum foreign ownership of retail and wholesale operations from 75 per cent to 100 per cent. A cabinet statement announcing the decree this week reportedly said that the decision is in line with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 and aims to ease restrictions on ownership and foreign investment in the retail sector to attract regional and international brands and contribute to the creation of job opportunities for citizens in this sector. Foreign firms licensed to own 100% of retail and wholesale businesses in Saudi Arabia, however, under the new laws, will have to invest at least $53 million in the first five years after obtaining a license. They must also have minimum capital of $7.9 million and operations in at least three international markets. The oil and gas industry will have to cut one trillion US dollars from planned spending on exploration and development because of the slump in prices leading to slower growth in production. According to consultant Wood McKenzie, worldwide investment in the development of oil and gas resources from 2015 to 2020 will be 22 percent or $740 billion lower than anticipated before prices plunge in 2014 with the deepest cuts to take place in the U.S. The report added that a further $300 billion will be eliminated from exploration spending and it is expected that global production this year will be 3 percent lower than previously forecast. According to figures contained in the report, the Middle East is the region's least affected, with no drop in investment expected in, for this year, and next in Saudi Arabia, the world's largest crude exporter. A UAE-based interactive creative solutions agency, EngageWorks, has showcased its Flux Innovative Lounge, exploring how UAE businesses can leverage game-changing interactive technologies like augmented reality to build cutting-edge environments. Offering a tour of their Flux Innovation Lounge, representatives of EngageWorks stated that their aim is to humanise technology and not overwhelm businesses with unwanted technologies, which sometimes act as a barrier for effective communication. Adding that the facility is built with the aim of stimulating conversation and ideas about innovation, officials highlighted that by knowing the needs of their clients, they can make use of an existing framework and customise and build technologies that suit their business interests rather than reinventing the wheel all over again. It was mentioned that the 84-inch 4K screen on display at the lounge allows visitors from the real estate sector to intuitively access details of their current and future developments around the globe, including 4K videos and CGI images, floor plans and brochures, while also using augmented reality real estate models and interactive real estate tables via iPads. Some other technologies on display were a stereoscopic 3D screen, a 3D printed dress, a smart interactive poster and the all-new Oculus Rift virtual reality headset, allowing the user to use the Rift while sitting, standing or walking around the same room. Here in UAE, um, it's 
you know, set it's it it wants to be a smart city. It's set to be one of the most innovative um, countries in the world um, within just a few short years. It has that as a goal. So it's really, really important that when you talk about innovation, um, you're focusing, again, not just on the technology. So we're not a technology company. We utilize the technology to create solutions that add genuine value. So that's in everything from a brand that wants to do a launch of a new product through to um, a company that wants to create an environment in which their employees are able to brainstorm, brainstorm more efficiently, capture data better, communicate faster, quicker, more, more effectively with each other. So often the first thing uh, in any space, but in marketing suites in particular, that we, we think about or talk about is creating an emotional connection because decisions are, are, are often based or largely influenced by emotion. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is to facilitate by accelerating the sales process. So, for example, we might use a, 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 an interactive wall like this. We might use augmented reality, where people can use their own handsets to explore plans and interact with content. Or we might use virtual reality headsets like the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive to create an experience, but also enable people, for example, to explore a space that hasn't even been built yet. From, from, from CAD models or designs that we adapt from the architect and then create using a sort of gaming engine into this virtual space so people can experience something that, that doesn't exist yet.